guys. How are we doing tonight? I thought I'd pop on real quick. I was hoping I'd get on live. <laughs> Been dying to today, but uh, I finished up all my orders. I did the last cut tonight. Um, so everybody that's been waiting on details for an order going out, they go out tomorrow, provided the weather's good. Um, they just need to be boxed up in the morning and then off they go and I will be all caught up on orders, ready to rip again. Hi, Julia, Julie Lynn. I always just called you Julie. Julie Lynn, it's, it's, it's harder for me to get out of my mouth. Hi, Peggy. Welcome, welcome guys. As you're jumping on, if you could do me a huge favor and just give me a hashtag live, if you see that little red button, whoops, right up there. And of course, if not, you're on the replay, feel free to jump in on the chit chat, the conversation, ask any questions you want. Hi Natalie. Welcome, welcome everybody. So tonight I'm just working on, I was working on that farmhouse uh, tear tray and I decided, well, Karen and let's see who else commented Karen and Wendy I think were the ones that said we need some farmhouse beads on there so that's what we're going to work on tonight so what I'm going to use for that is I went up to the uh, storage space of my attic and I grabbed out my old um what do you call it embroidery floss hello hello Deborah's on as well um I went up and got the embroidery thread um I used to make bracelets with the kids a long time ago, so I have like two or three bags of this stuff up in the attic. But I decided to grab it down tonight because that's what I'm going to use for my farmhouse beads. So I've kind of got an idea in my head of how long I want it to be to just dangle there. And so that's what I'm going to work on from Minnesota. What's the weather like in Minnesota? I'm trying to place where that is you would probably still be in like a snow belt region, right? I think. Wendy's on as well. Welcome, Wendy. We're working on farmhouse beads tonight. So to start off, I've grabbed some red beads. I don't usually do red, but we're doing Valentine's Day. And also my farmhouse tray, I kind of added some little hints of red to it. So I'm just going to add some red beads to it. So I'm using my embroidery thread and a darning needle and I'm just going to add a bunch of beads on here to start and then we'll figure out where we're going from there. I find the embroidery thread works really well for this. Well not the embroidery thread, sorry, the darning needle. I haven't tried it with embroidery thread. And then I've also got these things. Sometimes when I order in my craft supplies guys, I get a like end of season box. Um, or bags of stuff and in the last one came these things anybody know about these things tell me what they are tell me what you use them for I'm gonna use them for tassels tonight for the end of my farmhouse beads I've got all kinds of these I didn't know if I should add them to the website because I really don't know what they're called or what they're for <laughs> I'm assuming they're like macrame earring things I don't do that. I don't know nothing about doing macrame. So, um, they're called creation components. And they're from Bead Landing. Maybe they're also for necklaces. Can you see this? So, I got a whole bunch of these in. If anybody wants, I can put them on the website. I That's the price that they suggest, $7.99 Canada. I don't know. I'd probably sell them for like 4 bucks, Because I just don't know what to do with them all. So if anybody's interested in that, just, you know, let me know. If not, I'll take them to the craft sale um, in March and I'll just put them in like a, um, a bargain bin for four bucks and we'll see what happens. Somebody there might know. <laughs> Has anybody used them for anything? Ever, ever, ever. Fairland's on as she's sprinkling. Cheryl's in the house. Deborah's in the house. Kathy's in the house. Welcome, welcome everybody. Mavis is in the house. If I missed anybody, I apologize. Working on the farmhouse beads. So, I need a big enough strand at the top that is going to kind of slide down my center knob. 
um, on that tear tray over there. I'm not even sure if it comes apart, if I could take it apart. So I want something that's just going to slide over the top. Scroll up and see my comments here. Wendy doesn't know what the four yet either. No. Uh, Minnesota, below Quebec, no, bleh, can't read, next to Lake Superior. We live in SE Corner, just below Rochester. Okay, so yeah, you're going to get snow too, right? Oh, goodness, you're watching me on the big screen. Good thing I did my makeup. <laughs> Why do you do that to me, Mavis? Watch me on the phone for Pete's sake, where it's nice and tiny. You don't make out all my facial expressions as much. Okay, might have went a little too big on that. I'm going to take a few off. I'm going to take four off. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I want that just in the center of my thread. So I'm going to put my two ends together. And I'm going to slide this down so it's in the middle. Okay? It's more fun this way. Yeah, you can see my bloopers so much better. Okay, now I'm going to tie this in just a regular knot. Whoops. I'm all thumbs tonight. Let's see if we can get this. So just tying it like a bracelet kind of idea. Brittany is the one that actually came up with this idea. High of one tomorrow. No snow, really? Okay, because we're supposed to get belted with snow up here. Mavis, is it snowing in Ottawa yet? I don't think we're getting anything here yet. Last time I looked out, there was nothing. We got a little bit of drizzly rain, I think, but that was it. So we basically got this red bangle. That's what I'm starting off with. Now I'm going to put my needle back on, but I want it on both of the strands this time. And I usually hate when people do that, but for some reason it comes natural. But when I watch someone else do it, I'm like, oh. So just know that I will snip that off. You will not get my DNA if you ever buy my stuff that's made like this. <laughs> you watched a replay of my Brittany earlier. Okay, did you enjoy that? You got six inches today? Oh, oh really? Ugh. Okay, it's raining in Hallville. Okay. No snow yet in Orleans. Okay. Good, good. Maybe it'll pass by. Fingers crossed, right? So now what I'm going to do, oh, I think I'll go ahead with a red bead again. And then I'm going to go with one of my black and white plaids. And I just want them as an occasional one on there. So they're like my little pop. My contrast. So I'm going to go two red and then I'm going to go a black and a red. And I'll go two red again and I'll just keep going until I get down to the end of this string. And of course you can make this as long as you want. You've been painting Wendy? What are you working on? I want to see pics after. I love seeing everybody's pics of what they make. It doesn't matter if it's my products or something you're just doing on your own. I love seeing pics. I'm nosy. I want to see it all. Oh, the grandkids will love them, yes. And you know what? I know I tease and harass my daughter that I hate her Disney stuff. I hope she's not on tonight. <laughs> but I tease and harass her. But honestly, some of them that are printed out, I'm just like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. Some of them I would love to steal and do. But that would kind of ruin our little bickering fun that I have with her. <laughs> you book the day off tomorrow because you hate driving on the 416 with the snow. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. I literally do not leave the house if it's snowing. I used to. It never used to bother me, but now I'm just like, no not happening. Odds and in crafts. We'll send some photos. Awesome. Figure if I share my lives with you guys, you guys could share your pics with me. No, I'm not addicted. No. No. And I would never admit that. <laughs> How many of you like doing farmhouse beads? That um, Disney 
oh, the shoe today is what got me. The princess shoe, whoops, the princess shoe, I just want to stick diamond dust on that so bad. I literally thought, because I mentioned it to Brittany, and she's like, but I like the way it looks. And I was like, well, it looks good, but I really want to stick some diamond dust on that. So I actually thought about maybe printing off one and doing it myself. Just to say that I did it. You're watching the the secret Disney lover. Yeah. I'm loving Disney in the closet. <laughs> Hope that's not wrong to say. After I open my mouth, sometimes I'm like, ooh, is that politically correct to say? That might not have been. And if it's, if it's offensive to anybody, I do apologize. I don't mean anything offensive. Okay, so now I'm just going to knot this little wooden doodad, whatever it is. I don't even know what it is. Total addiction to crafting. Exactly. Me too. Me too. And then I'm going to snip off these little tails. I knotted that like probably three or four times just because I don't want it to come off. So there's my farmhouse beads. That is really flashy. That's like Mardi Gras kind of brightness for me. That is like way out of my element. But I think it's going to look pretty when I get it on there um, with all the farmhouse stuff. And it's just the pop of color in there. Now here's what I'm going to try to do to this end. We're going to try and turn this into a tassel. And I'm going to make it a black tassel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a bit of strings, like about yay long, and we're just going to, probably not even that long, and we're just going to loop them all on there. So basically, what do I want to do here? I just want to get a bunch of strands approximately that long. And I mean, it's going to have to be a bunch of them if I want this to really do its thing. And then, of course, they're going to be a little off because you can see how, you know, precisely I'm measuring this. Um, I'll just trim them all down afterwards. That's really long for farmhouse beads. Do you think so? You think that's too long? I was thinking it would, it's going to loop onto the top of my ring and then it can just kind of, you know, fall. I hope it's okay. We'll see. We'll see. A lot of my creating is just winging it, guys. So if it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. Okay, so then I'm just going to snip off the ends of these. And I'm going to pull out some of these strands. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the strand in half. Where's the end that I want? I'm going to see if I can hold this up closer. I'm going to loop it in like this. And then I'm going to pull those tails through that loop. Oh yeah, that's those are long pieces for a tassel. Maybe that's what you're talking about, Mavis. That my pieces were long because that is... That's a long tassel. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep looping them on there and pulling them. It's kind of like, um, what else have I done that's like this? When you're doing a garland. That's how I would do my garlands too. When I tie ribbons and, and um, pieces of fabric to my rag ribbons or to my rag garlands. I do that little way of just looping them over and pulling them through. And basically, I'm just going to fill up this whole rounded area at the bottom. And then I think that that cool, like, it's almost like a sunset design on the top. I think that'll look cool. Now, these things, if I do put them on the website, if anyone's interested, or if you're popping into that craft show and I bring them there, um, you'll see I've got metal ones. I've got um, wood ones in different shapes. I don't know what they're for. But... That's what I'm doing with it. I really think I've, I've seen them as macrame earrings, but I have no clue how to do that. And 
that's just not my jam. So as you get them on there, you're just going to want to pull them tight too. Oh, see now I've messed up my little strands with my big strand. That's too small. You upgraded your internet connection and I haven't frozen once. Oh, that's amazing. I hope it works for my end. <laughs> I've tried, guys. I do apologize for all the times that I freeze on here because I have called every internet provider out here in the boondocks. I'm not, it's not actually called the boondocks, but you know what I mean. Um, I'm in Rideau Lakes. And... I've got the best Wi-Fi they have out here. Yep. Just go with it. Make it work. Exactly. Okay, I'm going to need a lot more string. I think if you would have went with thicker string, it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't take as many. But I think the thin string is what's going to look cool. Because I think you could do it with a yarn or a wool or something like that but I wanted it to kind of be um, delicate, I guess, the fringe. I'll bring you up close and show you how it's looking. So it's just tasseling off like that. probably end up with a great big knot in it. Or it's kind of like the rug hooking idea too, I guess. Oh, really? Oh, hey, that's a good idea. Ooh, I like that. That you put the little slit in there, and then you could tie these. Ooh, I like that. You are so smart. Well, you're so smart to share that with me, because I know you said it wasn't your idea. Hi, Brandy. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> you figure it's because of the border <laughs> somebody is is definitely I don't know they supposedly like all use the same kind of towers or something or other so I was told I don't know much about that stuff maybe it's not even a conversation I should attempt to have but I tell you out here it just ticks me off that I hear on the news that, you know, you can get the internet on, like, different planets now, on the moon or something, but you can't get it out here. <laughs> Fix it already, people. It's also very annoying that, um, the, is it called fiber optic for Wi-Fi? <clears throat> that they have, like, you know, not on my, my area yet, but literally about seven minutes down my road, it came down this road... And then it took off onto a side road instead. Why it didn't come all the way down here, I don't know. But I'm like, that's just cruel. It's so close. But yet so far. So before I go live, I go around. I make sure the furnace is off because the furnace even affects it for some reason. Um, I make sure the washer and dryer's off, the dishwasher's off, you know. I shut off most of the lights in the house. Not that that affects it, but nobody else is up at this hour anyways. Um, the computers, everything gets shut down other than the ones that I'm using. And, you know, I just cross my fingers and hope that my Wi-Fi will be good that night. Sometimes it is and sometimes it ain't. 
<laughs> so you blame the city. <laughs> I hear my cat on the other side of the room getting into something. Probably found that red bead that I dropped earlier. And I cut out, I was supposed to be done with Valentine's Day guys. I've been launching St. Patty's Day stuff, but I found something tonight. Brittany doesn't even know about it because Brittany told me to stop on this Valentine's Day and to concentrate on um, St. Patty's Day and uh, and the uh, spring stuff that we're working on. And of course, CC's coming out soon. Who else is excited about that? February 8th. Cannot wait. Um, it, it'll be like, what is it, 9 o'clock mountain time? So that's like 11 o'clock our time. Don't message me, people, at that time. I will be shopping CC stuff <laughs> because I want to get at the new designs for the cutouts for all that. Um, I'm so, so excited. I probably won't sleep the night before. <clears throat> That's my big plans. But I saw these cute gnomes and anyone that's been following me for a while, they'll know that that's another thing I say I don't like. It's, I'm not really big on gnomes, but yet I think they're cute when I'm cutting them. <laughs> I'm like in denial, I guess, of the stuff that I actually like. I contradict myself all the time. You're loving the fringe. Oh, good. I wasn't sure about it. And then Brittany was the one that I said, what are we going to do with these when they came in? Because it was like a whole box of them. And she's like, oh, well, we'll just put them on the website or something. And I'm like, well, yeah, but I don't even know what to call them or what to say they're used for. And... Uh, then she was playing around with it and she's like, Mom, what about on the end of farmhouse beads? So tomorrow when she sees the pickup of this, she might be like, ah, you stole my live. <laughs> it's going to be funny. I look forward to spring too. I've already been working on some of the Easter stuff. I have a hard time not jumping ahead because I have so much Easter stuff cut already. So that I can take the pics to get them on the website for when they do go live. Um, but I have a hard time, you know, to get the Valentines done when I've got all these cute next projects, right? But yeah, I look forward to it. All the pastel colors. It's going to be so pretty. So, so pretty. I can't wait. And I know Brittany was saying how January was a good month for us. You know, we figured out how to do our text messaging. We um, got better at launching our products on time. Just pulling them tight to make sure they're really on there. Um, so it was a good month that we're getting a little more disciplined. We did a lot more lives in January than we've ever done. I plan to use the gnome with the black and red farmhouse decor. Ooh, cool. Oh, I want to see pictures of that. Um, yeah, so it was a good month that we're finally getting a little more organized. My shop is getting more organized. I've got my backdrop is pretty much done other than now I've got a basket of St. Patrick's Day stuff sitting there that shouldn't be there, but, um, cause I was digging through it. But, um, we're getting more organized, guys. Hi, Karen. So I'm getting there. So here's hoping that we keep up the momentum. I'm trying, trying, trying to be more disciplined with all this stuff. And Brittany was even saying today, because I've got her now uploading all the videos. Have you noticed that her videos keep disappearing on Facebook? I don't know if it's just us or everybody. But, like, we have lost so many of our recent videos, even. So today I got her that she's starting to upload them all to YouTube. So that's where, if you're looking for a project, we'll end up um, shooting you over to there. Because Facebook is losing them all and I don't know what's going on with that. Today, um, who was it that messaged me? Somebody messaged me today 
and was asking for, oh, it was um, Cheryl. Cheryl messaged me today and she was looking for the video on the Valentine Gnome that Bertie just did like less than 30 days ago. And it's gone. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Um, we, we looked all through our page, it's just not there. And it's not like they're taking it down because we did something wrong. I think they just don't have enough space or something on their platform because all kinds of videos are just going away. You took down your Christmas wreath off the door. Now you need something for this season. Not sure. Okay. Um, for this season for door hangers, I know you've written more, but I can't see it all. Um, for this season for door hangers, I think the only door hanger we have out right now, we have the gnome one for Valentine's Day, of course. Uh, nope, I don't have it. Brittany has it. But then we have this little guy up here. Whoops, wrong way. That guy up there, he can go on a door. Um, other than that, our next one is the St. Patty one. It's really cute. But it's, oh, wait till you see the spring one I'm coming out with. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Oh, you've noticed videos are missing too? Yeah, because we were putting them on the website. We thought, this is great, you know. We dropped the link to the Facebook video on the website. When you um, go to buy, you know, whichever piece, like that gnome, it had a link underneath it that brought you to our Facebook page. It's gone. The link now just says it's broken. So we're uploading everything now. Um, I can't do it from here because it takes seven hours to upload <laughs> one of my one hour lives to um, YouTube. So I got Brittany on that today. I was like, Brett, this is going to have to be your job, kiddo. Sorry. There we go. So you're right. That does look like a gnome's beard. <laughs> That's really cool. We're going to have to work on that. Um, that is so cool. So now what I'm going to do is I should have brought a comb or something just to, to flatten it out, but we'll use my fingers. But a wide tooth comb would have worked really well for this. And I kind of want it angled. It'd be easier just to cut it off straight, but I'd like to angle it. I'm a hairdresser, or I used to be a hairdresser, so I'm hoping I can cut this like hair. <laughs> hang there properly. It's not going to hang there properly. Do I have any tape? Oh, I do. I have washi tape here. There I go, using teeth again. For those of you that are new to my page, the other reason why I make a big deal about sticking stuff in your mouth, like I just did there, and I comment... Um, besides the fact that it's gross and it's getting DNA on stuff, um, is I broke a tooth on a live once by opening up an E6000. I think it was E6000. There's like my major blooper video. Okay. So what I did is I taped it onto the side of my jar. That's how I keep my beads, by the way, is I keep them in candy jars that I pick up from the dollar store. And I'm just going to go in. I don't know how to turn it to show you. Because then I, I'll be, you know, off-centered. But, no, I can't. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to hold it down with my one finger. And I'm kind of eyeballing this. Just give it a little haircut. There, you guys can practice cutting tassel ends before ever cutting your own bangs. How's that? So there is my tassel on there. And then I'll just untape it. Oh, that's cute. So that is my farmhouse beads.
What do we think? Good idea? I think it's super cute. Oh, in the spring it'll be so cool with like pastel colors. <gasps> the pastel pinks or the... This color here is kind of like a wisteria, kind of pinky purple. Oh my gosh. It would look so cute on all that. You lick your thumb? Yeah. Oh, especially since COVID. Yeah, nasty. And you know what? It doesn't, like, automatically I want to wet my thread like that. But if I see somebody else in a live, I'm like, ew, gross. Or people that separate their napkins and they go and then tack their fingers and pull them apart. First of all, it never works for me, even, even when I did try. But I like the tape method better. But it just, like, ooh, it just grosses me out. <laughs> a little bit of a germaphobe when it comes to stuff like that. You wouldn't know it by my extremely untidy house. It's clean. It's not dirty. It's just a lot of craft supplies. Um, but yeah, a bit of a germaphobe when it comes to stuff like that. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so while I got you all here, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of something that Brittany hasn't even seen yet. Just give me one second. I wasn't going to, but it's just too fun to show you something that she hasn't seen yet. Because she's seriously going to lose it on me tomorrow. She'll be like, Mom, we are done with Valentine's Day. But I just couldn't stop myself. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. Because you guys love gnomes. And I'm, you know, refusing to admit that I like gnomes. But check out this one. Okay. So there's this guy, and you can see how big he is. He's like hand size. Sneak peek, yep. Isn't he cute? And then he's got a second layer that gets glued on like that. Isn't that cute? And then there's this guy here, and it's going to be a complete set guy. Um, there's this guy here, and he's got this little added piece that goes on. Isn't he cute? They're growing on you, yeah. It's like Brittany and I said at the beginning when we got into gnomes, we're like, we don't like gnomes. But then the little monsters just kept appearing in our house. <laughs> and the more they keep showing up, the more we love them. Okay, and then there's this guy here. And then it's got the second layer that goes on the balloon. Isn't that cute? So these are adorable. And this is not something that I created on my own. It's a file that I found because um, we buy a lot of our files. Not all of them because Brittany's still working full time. So she doesn't have time to make all the cute stuff, right? Um, I have to check that file. His hat's a little wonky. Do you see that? It's got like a, it's got like a funny dip there. Sometimes I buy files and I look at them and I'm like, why did you do that? And then I have to send it to Brittany and she corrects stuff. But she just doesn't have time to make everything for me. Um, so we do buy some of our files and then um, we sell them off after we cut them, right? But Brittany does all the Disney ones herself. And there's quite a few that she's done even for me where I'm like, this is cute, but could you do this instead? So then she does that stuff for me. Um, but this file comes like this and then they give you these little stands which are cute because I've never had rounded stands like this but they're huge they're huge they're huge they're huge and they don't line up like I've tried them on all of them I don't know this person must be new I, I don't want to talk badly about them because maybe it's just a fluke thing but it doesn't line up so tomorrow's project it's probably going to take me a little bit in the morning is I have to create my own stands now that line up for these guys. So that's why they're not on the website tonight because otherwise I would have went ahead and did it and just like, surprise, Brett, this is what's happening. But I think these guys are the cutest gnomes that we've done yet. Right? Well, no, he's the cutest gnome I've done yet, this, this big guy. He turned out pretty good. See, I'm, I'm getting too many gnomes. He turned out pretty good. Like, I love him. I love the little bow in his hat. He turned out cute. Um, I love that gnome up there. 
you know, as far as gnomes go. And the new ones, um, the ones that say love, have you guys seen those? There's four in the pack and then there's a heart and they say love. What we have now is they have a, another one that says luck. So if you've already bought the love one, don't buy the whole luck scene unless you really want to, but you can buy just the add-on that you glue onto the back of them so then it's reversible. So one side says luck for St. Patty's Day and the other side says love. It's going to be really cute. We're going to work on that one. I said I was going to do that live this weekend, but then Brittany was like, no, I called dibs on that. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Sometimes I think it'd just be fun if she came here and we both did our own um, set. So like she would do a set of these and I would do a set of these and have like a blocker in between us and then have you guys choose which one's better because I love competition with my daughter. <laughs> I have so much fun with that kind of stuff but um yeah that's what that's what I've been up to guys um so that's my farmhouse beads hope you guys like that hope it gives you some cool ideas um you're right though you know what I want now <sighs> Karen you want to do me a favor <laughs> Karen and Wendy Brittany loves you guys. Like, she loves all of you, but, you know, you guys are her Disney girls. Um, <laughs> you want to send Brittany a message saying that uh, this little tassel thing that your mom used <laughs> would look really cute as a gnome on the end of it. Oh, actually, if you had a red... O-M-G guys never mind Brett we don't need your help mama just figured it out okay just give me one sec to try this out it might be a flop this is just my brain my brain fired again okay I definitely want it to go around the middle Just give me one sec. So, I'm going to explain to you. This might be a flop, but I went around the middle thing on this one. I get all these other tassels out of my way. And then, if I thread my bead, no, go figure. You need the darning needle. I can never get the thread through. Sorry guys, I know I was saying I was done, but I kind of think this might be cute. So I get that on there. And then I separate this off so one goes in behind. And bring it up in the middle. Basically just tying it into place that just bear with me one second just one second okay and then I'll trim off those two strands and look he's like a little gnome on the bottom Is that silly or is that cute? To me, I see a gnome because you never see their eyes. So this would be his hat and his beard and his little red nose. Is that cute or not? It's just a thought. Yes. Oh, Deborah was thinking the same thing. Okay. So I was going to tell you, Karen, I was like, <laughs> send Brady a message that we want these things to look like little gnomes, but we kind of did it without her. It's kind of, we'll call him a rustic gnome. So cute. <gasps> Ooh. Now I'm like, Valentine's Day, I want to do this in pink and gray with the gray for a beard. And a little pink nose with a pink and gray strand. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, these might be my favorite thing. Never mind, you can't have them. I'm going to hoard them all because they're all mine and they're my precious. I'm joking. 
It is. It's like a gnome, right? That's what I see. Okay. So anyways, there. That's it's cute. Alrighty. Um, that's it. That's all for tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got some giggles with me. I love visiting with you guys and chatting. I just dropped my good scissors on the floor. That's horrible for the point on those, and I use those for cutting napkins. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys.